The latest revelations in the Dr. Sachin murder case in Uttar Pradesh, which have embarrassed the Mayawati government, sources revealed to CNN and IBN fresh details that point towards foul play in the death of the deputy chief medical officer in jail. Well, sources are saying that Dr. Sachan was in fact taken out of his cell by two policemen and two convicts. Dr. Sachan was taken away on the pretext of a court appearance. Just who led, misled Sachan about his court date is unclear now. Sachan's body was found in an area where there was no CCTV camera installed. Was an insider involved? Parikshit Lutra with that story. The UP police is investigating two possible leads which may well hold the key to what exactly happened inside the Lucknow jail in the hours preceding the murder of Lucknow Deputy CMO Dr. Y.S. Sachan. Sources said they were verifying information about two policemen accompanied by two convicts who work as sevadars, having taken Dr. Sachan away on the pretext of taking him to court on the day of the murder. Sources say Dr. Sachan was woken up at 7.15 a.m. on the 22nd of June by the four he wasn't seen for the rest of the day and found absent at his barracks in the evening roll call. Later at night, he was found dead with a belt around his neck and wounds all over his body. Sources said besides probing why Sachan was misled about the court appearance when it was actually scheduled only the next day, they were also verifying why his body was found in an area which wasn't covered by any CCTV. In fact, the only CCTV camera installed at the entrance of the jail hospital was not working on the day of the murder. Dr. Sachan's family has clearly stated that he never used to wear a belt and therefore it's unlikely that the four feet long belt found on his neck was his own. So whose belt was that and how did it reach Dr. Sachan? And has his family been asked to verify if the belt even belonged to the doctor? Jail authorities say that Dr. Sachan had cut himself with a blade found near the spot. Police have already rubbished this theory and say it could have only happened with a surgical knife, which hasn't been found yet. Even the nature of injuries suggests the cuts were in critical places which only a trained medical expert could be aware of. While jail officials and the police declined an official comment, clearly there are disturbing questions which need a quick answer. With Parikshit Lutra in Lucknow, this is Arunodaya Mukherjee.